I am back home. I grew up in Smyrna, Delaware. And I said to the crowd, we were at the birthday bash here, I said to the crowd, I said, is there anybody from Smyrna, Delaware? And I gotta admit, there was like dozens and dozens of people that actually raised their hand. It was really cool. It feels good. I'm almost back to my second home. This crowd rocks. The birthday bash, WXTU, you're awesome. And I was just talking to you that actually, this is your 23rd year, right? Right. And uh, I grew up listening to you. Didn't even know it. Here yeah, we are. Knowing now. Thank you very much for all those years. Now, here we are. And we're meeting face to face. I don't just hear your voice, and it, uh, it feels pretty good. It's kinda... I know. So, meanwhile, are you a jokester? Do you ever play pranks? Are you going to be out with Brad Paisley? Oh, yeah. I... Now, you have to know what's the deal. He does pranks. So, you have to do pranks, right? Well, see, he already got me. Uh, we, I was on the Bonfires tour, and he pranked me. I was. Uh, it was the last date. It was me, Rodney Atkins, and Brad. Yeah. So, we're sitting around. It was right before the last show, and Brad goes, Chuck, don't worry about a thing. I'm not going to prank you. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, you know, because I'm coming back out with him this summer. Summer, which we start in next week, and uh, he goes, no, we're not going to prank you because then you're going to have three months to think about how to get me back. So we move our attention to Rodney, who also got pranked the last day, and uh, first word out of my mouth, stealing Cinderella, I look over my shoulder, two grown men dressed up as fairy godmothers with wands. <laughs> Multicolored dresses. Um, they didn't fit, by the way. Um, very romantic. They came out and they had tattoos everywhere, and they were hitting me on top of the head <laughs> as I was singing "Feelings and Real." And the funny thing about it was, is I look out in the crowd and they are a serious comedian singing every single word. See the power of a song? They, they don't even. It doesn't even distract them if two grown men in dresses. Come you mean they weren't laughing? They were not. Well, they were laughing, but then they were still singing along to every word. Well, that's a very powerful song. Congratulations on having such a huge hit, one that is going to be classic. That's going to last a long time. Stealing Cinderella. I hope so. And, and thanks to you guys, and thanks to the listeners. Um, you guys are awesome. Uh, it was my first top five, Stealing Cinderella. It opened up a ton of doors. One of those doors being the Brad Paisley tour. And I will see you again soon. And uh, we'll have a good time. And let's do it again with all I ever wanted. Thank Rock you. Out. Chuck. You got it. I'm the one who's stealing Cinderella.